because we know you haven't seen this enough. Here's yet another look at Shaka Hislop's top five teams all time what? in the Premier League era. And of course, the number one team, the 98-99 Manchester United treble winners. This year's domestic treble winning City team comes in second. We haven't heard yet from uh, Frank LaBeouf on this. So Frank, what do you think of Shaka's list? Well, 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 Shaka doesn't like Chelsea, I can see that. Uh, I agree with him with the, with the Man with Manchester United in the first place, you know, and I, and I will have, yeah, I say 98, 99 like him, but I will have extended it to uh, 95 to 99 because of Cantona, uh, Steve Bruce, Paul Mac um, uh, McAllister, uh, York and, and, uh, and Cole, of course, Solker, Beckham and, and ne the Neville brothers. So it was a great era for Manchester United. But I put in second position Arsenal, but from 98 to 2005, because I think they won it like three or four times the, the, the Premier League. And they were absolutely fantastic with all the French uh, legend, but also uh, all the English good players like Adams, of course. Uh, and after I put, uh, I put Chelsea, put Chelsea 2005-2006 because it was a fantastic team where they missed uh, the Champions League against Manchester United, but they won the league twice. And then I put um, Manchester City from now and Chelsea uh, from 2012 with Di Matteo's Champions League to, to, to 2017 because they won in 2015 also the Premier League twice. So, so yeah, that's my first five. And I'm so, I have to be very humble to put Chelsea only on the third position. <laughs> there is, there's a lot to digest there, including the fact that Frank totally changed the criteria yeah. for everything <laughs> and the entire he extended list. the periods of time yeah. over, over a decade. All right. Uh, Paul, we haven't gotten your thoughts yet on the all-time Premier League era list. Do you think Shaka got it right, especially at the top? Look, I, I think we're splitting hairs to be perfectly frank. I mean, so, some of the sides that we're talking about were absolutely incredible football teams. You know, what they achieved was remarkable. Uh, you know, talk about City this year. To, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Liverpool and get the points total that they've got, I think they lost one game, was it? It's absolutely remarkable. So... I think we are splitting those. It's just an, it's been such a joy to watch the teams over the years. I think Sir Alex's team that, that Shaq has got in number one. I mean, they were a fantastic group of group of players, incredible team spirit, fighting to the end, entertaining football. But I've also got to tip my hat to the Arsenal. I mean, the Invincibles, they they, they were incredible, never lost a game in the Premier League. I, I often have a conversation with Stevie Nicholas. I said, I said, Do you think you know the team will get beat this season? And, and you know, we have Why the, would you talk to Stevie Nicholas? Well, Honestly. You know, because he, he's been right in the mix of, of doing back-to-back, -back, um, mm. you know, Division One championships as it was in the old days. It's difficult. And when you have a manager that is, has got his players in the right position, as Sir Alex did, as Klopp has, has this season, as, as Pep Guardiola has this season, it's so difficult to split them. Um, but I will go with Shaka. It's very rare that I agree with Shaka, mm. but I, I will go with him one. But I'm going to go with this year's City too. Did, did you notice that when Frank was breaking it down, <laughs> uh, the first couple of choices that he made... Chelsea. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> he goes Manchester United and said, well, but I'm going to extend it to 95, 96. <laughs> you know, Cantona, of course. <laughs> and then he went to Arsenal and was like, well, because from this year to that year, because all the French superstars. And I'm like, all right, OK. Well apparently, done, Frank. Apparently, if you're French, you got a chance well in Frank. Well done, Frankie. Was. Well done, lad. Uh, Paul, <laughs> not to pick at your argument, but a little bit. This year's City team had 19 more points than the 98-99 United team. That, do, that doesn't count for anything? Of course it does. I, I, I've got them second. But, look, I keep telling you, you're not listening to it. We're <laughs> splitting hairs here. This is so... This is a very difficult question. Mm -hmm. Look, everybody has their own particular favourites. I'm, I'm trying to be non-partisan here by saying this is a very difficult question. Right. You know, but 20 it, more points over a season is a significant number. I know it is, but it, it, it depends what you're up against. You can only beat what you're up against, right? And, you know, United were very entertaining. They fought till the end, Fergie time, last six minutes, they're banging goals and so on and so forth. This Manchester City side is so attractive to watch. And, and Guardiola's done an absolutely remarkable job. Um, on our website right now, Gab Marcotti and Mark Ogden have combined to kind of dive in on this city roster. They're working together? They're working together. What? Uh, yeah, in the uh, rare show of affection <laughs> between the two. But um, 
the point of it is to kind of pick through this amazing roster and say who's going to go and who's going to stay. They actually agreed that John Stone should stay. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you disagree with that, Ali, because you had, you had a pretty strong take on Stones the other day when we were discussing Well, it, it wasn't on Stones in particular. It was the fact that Pep Guardiola has made it very, very clear because of the choices that he has made over the last couple of months of the season in saying, you know what, I'm going to go with company. And there were ample opportunities to play John Stones, and he decided most of those times to go with somebody else to play in that very mm -hmm. same position. If that's what Pep Guardiola is telling us, is essentially saying, you know what? I don't think that this is the guy that we think can take us forward as a, in a center back position. You can keep him as a squad player, but you still need to address the absence of a real true center back in that team.